Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Mushroom Wonderland. My name is Aaron Hilliard. I'm the Vice President of the Kitsap Peninsula Mycological Society. Today we're gonna to be talking about the safety of eating morel mushrooms. Welcome to Mushroom Wonderland. You may have seen headlines recently or the buzz on the internet about an unfortunate event that happened where 51 people got sick after eating at a restaurant that was serving raw morels. Out of those 51 people, it is said that only 88% of them admitted to eating the morels. Six of them were hospitalized and unfortunately two people lost their lives. So are morels safe to eat? It's a good question and it's curious, why does this topic get brought up now when this event happened last April? Well, because fear generates clicks and so a lot of these headlines are clearly fear mongering. They're trying to get your attention because it is the beginning of morel season and morels are on a lot of people's radar. They're going out to go hunting for morels. It is morel season in most of North America and as the weather warms up from the winter to the spring, morels are gonna be everywhere. And with that comes an increased rate of poison because of undercooked or raw morels and simply because some people have an adverse reaction in their body to morels. I had the opportunity to talk over the phone with Aaron Parker, the owner of Dave's Sushi in Bozeman, Montana, where they were serving this morel sushi roll. It was a special, it was not a regular menu item. It was a sushi roll that contained salmon and morels. He told me that he was never informed that morels should definitely be cooked. He thinks that maybe there should be a warning label on the morels when they come from the distributor. Aaron sent me a document from the CDC outlining everything that they looked for in the investigation. He also clearly stated that they looked for listeria, uh, botulism, and other bacterial contaminants, but couldn't seem to find any. It did clearly state that the two people who died had chronic underlying medical conditions that contributed to their deaths. Unfortunately, these two people weren't able to withstand the dehydration that came from the gastrointestinal distress brought on by eating raw morels. The restaurant is being held liable and they're in a whole bunch of legal litigation. And basically he said that he thinks that there's not enough education around morels, that perhaps they could be very dangerous and that maybe they shouldn't be allowed to be served in restaurants anymore. Aaron told me point blank that he will never eat another morel as long as he lives. The one case that he pointed me to really quickly was the case of a Missoula, Montana attorney named Peter Dayton who died in that same week while on a canoeing trip with a friend. They foraged for some wild morels, put them in their um, jet boil camp stove and cooked them with some Uncle Ben's risotto. Supposedly the morels had been well cooked. I guess that Peter had eaten morels plenty of times in the past. They both got sick, his partner recovered, but unfortunately Peter died as a result of eating these morels. Another case of morel poisoning took place in 2019 in a Michelin starred restaurant in Spain where mixed reports of between 18 and 30 people were sickened and one death was reported from eating a rice dish that contained morels. But they were said to be imported from China just like the ones at Dave's Sushi. The death was later ruled by a judge to be from natural causes and was not related to the morels. There was also a famous case where at a retirement banquet for a police chief in Vancouver, British Columbia, there were 77 reports of illness from eating a pasta salad that contained raw morels as well as raw shiitake mushrooms. 483 people in total attended the banquet, resulting in 15% of the guests reporting gastrointestinal upset. No deaths were reported in this case. False morels in the genus Gyromitra are known to be poisonous, known to be even be deadly because of the monomethyl hydrazine. Hydrazines are really bad for the human system. They make rocket fuel out of them, but it's unclear and research has not shown that hydrazines exist in true morels. So what makes them dangerous? Really not sure and science still has a long ways to go and studies like this are important for the advancement of the understanding of the edibility of these kind of mushrooms. I also had the opportunity to talk with Professor Michael Bug. This is the teacher who taught famous mycologist Paul Stamens. He is the leading toxicologist for fungi in North America. He had some input on the matter. There are toxins in morels that are destroyed on cooking. It's not monomethylhydrazine, 
but it, neurels have neurotoxins in them. The presence of monomethylhydrazine is uh, confined strictly to gy the gyrometer escalenta and and its lookalikes. We have several in North America, and we don't actually have gyrometer escalenta in North America. There is a, a history of people dying from morels even cooked if they become severely allergic. So the first time you have a bad reaction to morels, it's probably a good idea to quit eating it. And if this, because the second time it'll be worse, and it's the third or fourth time that it can, they can kill you because the allergy is very potent to morels. But it's not something I've got no record of people dying on the first is people that have eaten morels for 10, 20, 30 years who suddenly get sensitive to them and try them a second time. And they think, well, oh my gosh, I got even sicker than that. But if they go, a few, very few people have gone a third time. They usually wise up and quit. But if you don't wise up and quit, you can die. The morel mushrooms that were served in the sushi roll were a species known as Morchella sextilata, which is actually one of the burn morels that grows here in North America. But in China, they've learned to cultivate it. So these mushrooms came from a distributor called Sierra Madre in Northern California, who got their mushrooms from somewhere near the Himalayas in China. And so these morels were cultivated, they were brought over, they were shipped out to 12 different restaurants. Only six of those restaurants responded back. Perhaps the other six didn't report back because people were saying they had belly aches and uh, they just didn't want to implicate their restaurant in any kind of food poisoning things. It's a no-brainer. We definitely need to be cooking morels, but it still leaves uh, a mystery out there as to the Peter Dayton case. Hopefully more comes out about this subject in the future, but it surely is curious that he had eaten morels before and he had cooked these ones and had such a terrible adverse reaction to them. So with all of that said, you know, there's gonna be morels popping up everywhere here pretty soon and you can eat them at your own risk. So I just say, you know, take your precautions, understand the facts and the stories that are out there. So until the next episode, thanks for joining and much love everyone, peace out.